Okay, I, I literally don't know what button they want me to press now. Why don't you uh, just... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Why I'll try you... again. Join, join again. <laughs> this is great, great entertainment. Fantastic entertainment. Okay, I'm going to be really careful. A? Press enter. Okay, okay. Now... Okay! <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Okay, that's one out of the way. Let's try it again. <laughs> Just wait till we down get there, the second press mission. A, then. Um. Oh, it was just lag. I, I pressed B after. Oh god. Okay, and I'm gonna play as. We're in the game though. Woohoo! I just threw away a bunch of grenades for no reason. I'm Tim Buckley. <laughs> Actually, you kind of do look like Tim Buckley from a distance. <laughs> I know, that just he's got the same haircut. Oh, God. You know, Netcode was... not doing too bad right now. It, uh, it, I think the lag that we're seeing is just Neo Geo lag. Yeah. Oh, if I need to get back. Oh, yeah, that's oh. right. <laughs> Gonna fucking die a lot. Yeah. You know, people say Dark Souls is hard. They did not grow up with the same shit we had. Do we want to take the bottom path? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Why not? It's ridiculously hard, but we got infinite credits. Eh, it's not that bad. Nah, I actually like you. it because I used to really avoid this every time when I was a kid because I just I didn't want to lose like half a dollar to this. Oh, you got the sub. That's good. Yeah. I can't shoot down. I remember that about this. Um, that's why we gotta get you a drop shot. Helen, the eel. Yeah, you know what? It is worth coming down here. Hey, just look here. Oh god. Hey, look what I got. Yay. Oh man. Just remember not to push jump and shoot at the same time. Luka. That's right. One finger at a time when you're inside the sub. <laughs> God, there's no way to not say that dirtily. Dirtily's oh God, not no. a word, but oh, well, maybe gone. you should have abandoned ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, damn Jesus. it. That was horrifying. <laughs> I just gotta... Why would you ever take this path if you were paying money to play this game? Oh, whoops, I actually oh, took both. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> well, this is going much better than I thought it was. It could still be going worse, so that's something. I'm gonna emphasize, I used to be good at this game. Used to be. No, stop it! One hit deaths! Where's my regenerating health? Cover shooters, come on! Ah. Oh yeah, forget. I, I have grenades. Which, these are the most nonsensical water grenades I've ever seen. You know what, I like that they at least changed the graphic for underwater. Yeah, it's kind of nice. The detail and the sprite it. work on here is just awesome. This is one of the things I wish they would... Well, they make a lot of uh, metal, metal Slug games. I want to call them Metal Gear games, damn it, but... Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid Five too. It, it's so good. It's good? But I noticed that once you start playing it, you notice that the backgrounds and shit start to look increasingly like PlayStation 2 games. Yeah, that's just how, uh, that's how it's, Afghanistan is. <clears throat> no, that's just how Japanese developers do. It's kind of like Dark Souls, where if you look into the background, there's some really pretty shit, and there's some real ugly shit, too. Oh, get this chaser down here, bro. Okay, just tap, tap, tap. No need to go crazy with it. Don't gotta kill it. Yeah, I keep forgetting because I have auto fire on. So yeah, same here. I'm not tapping that button. I mean, usually I'd be against using turbo in certain games, but I'm kind of over that. Yeah, and in this game, it's kind of necessary at points. Well, I mean, especially in shooter games. Like, there's some shooter games where you're lit literally just fucking hammering that button for like an hour straight. That's not I'm necessary. Wizard. It's really not. And especially in games like this, which is basically a coin muncher, like, once you get much later into the game. Ooh, yep, I think part of the design is that they try to wear you down by making you mash the button. They're like, yep, if we make them mash the button for 40 minutes straight, they're gonna fuck up. Alright, we should get, um, the, I forget what this vehicle's called up here, but it's like a walker sort of thing with two cannons on it. <clears throat> it it's really good for this fight. Oh, yeah, that really awkward-looking thing with the cannon dick. Hey, looky there. There you go. Yeah, I remember this fight. And then you just use the grenades, and they drop grenades on the ground. Nope, nope. Ow! 
shit, I can't dodge that. It's okay, they still give you one gun at least. It's not completely useless yet. May as well use up my cannons, goddammit! Now you gotta use up your bombs. Uh oh. Press A and nope. B. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Too late. Oh no. Yeah, this this is what makes this fight so easy at least. Ah shit. Yeah, see, how would you ever be able to react quick enough to that? Like, your first time through this game, you're dumping like 20 bucks into there. That, there's Easily. just no way around it. And especially when you see what the final level is, because it even tells you the final mission. And then you get oh, there. Oh, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> I, I do remember getting to the end and being like, oh my god. You really want my fucking quarters, don't you? <laughs> You're great. Like, it, it's better than a quarter muncher at the end, like, when you think it's over. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm speaking too much, we'll just say that. Yeah, you'll see. There, there's five missions in this game. Mission That's all you need to know. Two. Yeah, five missions, right? <laughs> okay, then, this is where the game gets really cool, actually. They start to show you, okay, you don't know what the fuck to expect now. We'll yeah. do anything, we don't give a fuck. And they even introduce a new gameplay mechanic, where you can become a zombie, as I shall demonstrate now. And all these people can become zombies. So and you get one of the best moves in the game, which I think was ripped off by but the Binding of Isaac. Oh, yeah. Behold Brimstone. Okay. I think perhaps the best advantage to being a zombie is that not only do you have that amazing new grenade animation that we need to get down here and save the president, um, it, it's just you can actually be immune to bullets whenever you're a zombie. Oh, yeah, yeah, regular bullets don't hurt you, you just, yeah. uh... You can just walk into them, pretty much. Like, all the soldiers will run away from you, just about. Alright, there's the president. You're okay, do him. you want to be healed or not? Uh, yeah. I'll go on ahead and heal up. After I do this. Okay. Alright, there should be a monkey coming up over here. Here he is. Because why not? Yeah, th this game... I don't know what they were on when they came up with this game, but it is easily my favorite in the series, and I think it's probably the crowd favorite. Yeah, it's definitely the best. I played some of the newer ones, and boy, they sucked. Metal oh, Slug they didn't X suck, but you know the well, the <clears throat> a Thomas Wave One, whatever you want to call it, that was on that. Oh, never mind. I don't even. I think it was Metal Slug Six. Let me put it this way: we don't talk about Metal Slug X. Oh yeah, and Metal Slug X. That ah. one's that one's the worst coin muncher of them all. And yeah, also the most disappointing ending wise. Visually like, appealing, but yeah, that that one was just like, hey, you like Metal Slug? Give us your money. Pretty much. It's like, oh, these kids will buy it. Yeah, it's an interesting gameplay mechanic. The whole zombie thing. I mean, it's only for this level, I believe. I don't know if it carries over in the end. I don't remember. But, um, it, it's extremely useful. We want to take the uh, ice cave path, get the uh, mammoth, or do we want to just keep going? Ah, uh, sure, let's just go crazy. Let's Why not? All, let's just take all the ridiculous paths. Why not? I think I'm starting to get a fucking flu. God damn it. Uh, that's about that time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game just started losing its shit at this point. When you start fighting Yetis. Yeah, we went from fucking aliens to zombies to Yetis. And turn, you turn into snowmen. And keep in mind, this is on hardware that you could get in like 1992. Like, even the PlayStation had a hard time keeping up with this game just because... Well, the Neo Geo was a little bit crazy. It was. It, it admittingly was. <laughs> I like how your snowman has sunglasses. We're just destroying refrigerators. Yeah, I don't remember. I never came to this area. Uh, so you, this is all new to me. You get a mammoth at the end of it. Which is kind of cool. The only thing is, you probably won't make it out of here with it, or I won't, because I'm Oh, just... I thought I could shoot those fucking things. At least that's just a uh, stall, and it's not like instant death. Yeah, they freeze you first, and then they hit you in the face. <laughs> so yeah, this is more of a casual playthrough, I guess you could say. Oh yeah. We're just 
kind of running through. No, I'm trying not to die, but I mean, look at this shit. And this is on medium. This is on medium. Oh, it's an elephant. Oh no, he's gone. I've never seen that happen oh, before. Oh wow, they really got fucked up. Oh, now they're zombies. And they show you all the gore in the background. Now this is Hotline Miami. Only downside to being a zombie is that it takes forever to get anywhere. Also, dodging those guys up top is impossible. Just fucking damage boost through this shit. Pretty much. Yeah, this, this was another area to where it's like, give us your quarters. Come on. It's, it's been five minutes. We I mean, need a dollar. <laughs> holla holla, spend a dollar. Oh, God damn it! I love this game to death. It, oh, yeah. It, like, it it, it's bullshit on a lot of areas. I mean, you have to have perfect memory to play this. And, you know, that's fine. I can deal with that. But, you know, it really rewards you with the good animations, the all the different gameplay mechanics, and the fact that it always has something to surprise you with. And the other games just really didn't live up to that. No, nah, the first serious. one was pretty good, and there was one called, um, well, I think it was called Geostorm, which is kind of like the predecessor to this series, but uh, nobody talks about that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing one on my Neo Geo Pocket <clears throat> Color, which I actually own, surprisingly, and I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, that's a lot less shameful than owning a Neo Geo. I mean, those things were more expensive than PlayStation 3s. I'm talking like watch PlayStation 3s. You could buy a PlayStation Dude. 3. Wasn't it wasn't like a thousand bucks. It was like $800 at least. Yeah. It was ridiculous. I remember So that. I guess after tax, you're looking at like nearly 900 and something. It is not a good investment. And the games Oh, this were... fucking boss. This, this was a cool boss. The first part was hard. The second part, really easy. <laughs> Yeah, look and you'll never see these types of aliens again in the game. Surprisingly, yeah. It's like, you know, we got aliens, but I'd like to do some different aliens. <laughs> Welcome to Mel Gibson's signs. Okay, now let's try to actually dodge these things. How about that? Oh, yeah, because we're not going to dodge the next ones. No, I just, I know playing with infinite credits, it's really easy just to get in the mood where I'm just going to damage boost through the entire fucking game. Yeah, speedrun tactics, bro. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Ah, shit. You gotta take damage in order to, you know, just get by. It's faster. Yeah, I think the whole idea of a speedrun kind of loses its charm to when you're playing with infinite credits. Oh, je Jesus. And the only reason that attack works so well is because they're spinning and it throws me off whenever I'm looking at all three of them spinning around. Yeah, you just have to look at the projectiles, but the characters in this game move pretty slowly. Like, compared to how fast some of the projectiles move, God damn it! No, Why no, that was, like, that was the gap. Did you see how short of a gap we had to get through there? I know. Quarter munching. Hey, like, here's serious the props to anybody who beats this without getting hit. That takes, like, There's more memory than I have. Like, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, there's a Chivos for beating this with uh, use, out using credits, so. That's bullshit. They shouldn't even do that. Well, they do. I think it's funny. Like, people say, I want to be the guys hard, and yeah, okay, that is hard. That's but hard. playing. We had to play this by putting quarters into the machine. I want to be the guy doesn't demand a single penny from you. Oh, damn it. I hit the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> 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 I thought you just connected for good there. Nope. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Why weren't you shooting the tombstone? I'm, I'm your friend. <laughs> Last time I played this, I was really drunk. And I don't even remember doing this. <laughs> yeah, this game's not one to drink and play. It's, it it's deceptively fast. It really is. Oh, oh no. I don't think that was part of the Neo Geo port. <laughs> uh, look at you. Private Chapman. They actually went through and gave these guys names. That's unbelievable. Again, another detail. They had so much space on a Neo Geo card. I think they're like 512 megabytes, which... 
for 1991 was a pretty big deal. Like most games back then were about eh, 32 megs for a big one, like a big SNES game. Yeah, well, I guess considering <laughs> back in the 1950s, five megabytes was like what, freaking huge? Dude, back in the 1950s, <laughs> five megabytes wasn't a thing. <laughs> Exactly. You had punch cards and vacuum tubes, I think. At least I, you know, I'm not a computer expert, but for hey, my memory. Hey, you guys want to play some uh, sonar games? Hey guys, you want to play punch card chess? <laughs> I don't know. Playing pong on a radar machine would be pretty awesome, but um, I mean, probably like give you cancer though. That's the thing. <laughs> oh man. One thing I really like about this game is that there's like actual bullets that you can destroy just by shooting them. Okay. And a there's lot a of lot of stuff in this game. So yeah, if you're gonna do a speed run, if you know everything about it, it's way easier than it looks. But it, it's oh, I shouldn't have taken that from you. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Heavy machine you're just gun. Gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you know, people would say Contra's hard. Like, fuck that. I can actually beat Contra without dying. That's doable. Like, you can avoid the shit that they throw at you. And that, maybe not Super Contra in the arcade. That one's kind of... Eh, a little bit more on this level of bullshit. But, yeah. Like, NES Contras, as far as hard, game go, hard games go, are a little bit overrated. At least it's possible. It's possible. Like, Hard Corpse on the Genesis, way harder. Fuck. Yeah, there, there's a lot of games like that, though. I mean, then there's just this, which is, oh, hey, let's make a game, but let's make it so it'll completely steal people's money. Yeah, lots of games get an unfair rep for being too hard, like Zelda 2 or even Dark Souls to an extent. Like, this is way harder than Dark Souls. I don't give a fuck what anybody has to say about that. Yeah, and I couldn't buy the game. I just had to watch people play it or put my coins in there. <laughs> see that fucking bullet? Yeah, yeah, like, by the time I saw it, it, it already killed me. God damn it. The yeah. art's so good in this game. I know, and I couldn't tell for the longest time it took me forever to realize that those cameras are actually enemies. Yep. It's like, oh, hey, the environment actually can kill you in this game. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is, this is gonna happen a lot <laughs> towards the end, I have a feeling. Chicken! Why Why the chicken? I don't know. I keep cra- Oh, that's why I was crouching. Good old stuff. Oh, no, God! I'll see Fuck. you later. Nope, never mind. Nope. <laughs> it won't crush you, at least, but it won't come all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on a time limit. Oh, yeah. But the time limit's not that bad. That usually yeah, I don't even know why too. they put that in there. There's, like, who the fuck's gonna be- If you're gonna be able to survive past the time limit without dying, then you're probably not going to die any- Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not good. We only need to get on this part. You really have to constantly look at your character. That's another thing about this game. You want to look at the environments and everything else because the game's so pretty and there's other shit going on in the game, but, uh... Laser gun. You need to keep your eyes fixated on your character at all time or shit like that happens. Pretty much. <laughs> this spawned me on and you, that's... What's even more amazing is, like, whenever you look at the characters, whenever they're firing, just look. That's yeah, like, they have some great animations in this game, and you can't pay attention to any of them. <laughs> it oh, I know. Like I, I was just looking at the background, and I just jumped right into a bullet. <laughs> That's a really good trick when you think about it. We'll make the game look so good that they won't even know when they're getting killed. <laughs> then they'll have to give us their money because it looks good. <laughs> but in all actuality, th this is a fun game. It's a great game. Oh yeah, it's real fun, but um. You need to be practiced. If you yeah. really want to like enjoy it to its maximum extent, put it on 30 credits and see if you can beat it with that. You know, kind of challenge yourself. But um, yeah, I think the max for this one is 20 credits, and I have beaten it on medium with that a while nice. back. That was hard. Yeah, I'll pet man. I mean, <laughs> there's people that can do it on zero credits, which still blows my fucking mind. I don't, I don't understand how they do it, but they just know everything about this game. Now, oh. is this actual lag or is this this Neo is actual this is actual 
Neo Geo lag. Oh my gosh, I love the right armor in Mega Man X. And even the, like, robots are affected by the guns, it's kinda cool. Like, you can equip them with the laser gun, which I- Oh, no, goddammit! You can heal them, and we can't get those prisoners, because I was stupid and didn't go for them first. Yeah, speaking of Mega- Oh, I love this robot, look at how yeah. cute he is. <laughs> He's like, hey, guys! Hey, that's not funny. Just leave me alone. What are you doing? Oh, this is like the best spot to stand, usually. No! <laughs> Even when the game's lagging, I can't move fast enough. Hey, stop it! Oh god, he's gonna shoot. Ah! <laughs> and then he's going to do that. And then I'm gonna jump back over here. Uh... You know, yep. speaking of Mega Man, I saw a speedrun of Mega Man 1 earlier today, and oh, the guy uses a fucking Luck Man glitch to where you pause the game on Yellow Devil and hit pause over and over again so it multi-hits. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, just don't. Again, Mega oh. Man 1's another one of those games to where people are like, oh yeah, Contra's so hard, fuck you, beat Mega Man 1. Just I go beat Guts Man stage, and then I will applaud you. You know what? Gutsman stage isn't that bad once you understand the bullshit about the platforms, but Those platforms good fucking are... luck getting through Wily. Good fucking luck. Pretty much. Without cheating. Yeah, without cheating and, uh... Yeah, just without cheating. You know, no no save states, no pause glitch. God damn it, I didn't move fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is still harder than Mega Man 1 just because of shit like that, but... Yeah, Mega Man 1 wants you to fucking die. The whole Robot Master thing's a trick. You beat all the Robot Masters and think, oh, well, okay, well then, you know, I'm almost towards the end now. And it's like, no, that was just training for when the game's just gonna... When the game gets real. Yeah, much. just... Ah, goddamn. And the Wily fight's not even that bad when you fight the final boss. Uh, no, no, no! <laughs> it's it weird, smart. they telegraph, but then they move so quick... <laughs> yeah. And, well, the thing about this fight is that, like, there's just a lot of shit going on in it. Because there comes a point where he starts nuking the platforms, and then there's three fireballs that spawn out of those nukes, and nobody sees them. They think that's just part of the detail. Alright, I've got to take all the vehicles, pretty much. That's fine. I, I hate the controls on this thing, though. I will be honest. Oh, I just made him blow up. Whoops. Oh, well, I yeah, I'd say not. the worst thing about the controls is that there's no, like, hold fire button to where you can, uh, move while firing in whatever direction you want to lock your fire at. Yeah. But that's a minor complaint. I mean, these games are pretty old, so you this really is... can't blame them too hard for not having, like, the best shooter mechanics. Yeah, this is pretty late 90s, so... Oh, early 90s. Not even early? late 90s, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it was pretty late 90s. Yeah, well, fair enough. Well, maybe Metal Slug 3, this, this may have been, like, 1994, but... There's no way this is, like, late 90s. I seriously thought it was, but... I don't know. They, they I don't know maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll have to look that up. That, that's your that's your fucking... If anybody listened to it at this point, correct me in the comments and tell me how <laughs> fucking stupid I am, but I swear this this is, like, 94. It has to be. Uh, the Neo Geo is weird like that. It was really advanced hardware for its time, so it lasted a long time, and by the time games like this came out, the arcade hardware was really cheap, so it went from the point of being ridiculously expensive to incredibly affordable and everywhere. Like, <laughs> you couldn't go to an arcade that didn't have a Neo Geo cabinet in it. Yeah. And since it was all cartridge-based, if you wanted to change the game out, you just had to buy a cartridge, which was, you know, brilliant, really. Yeah. Speaking of which, you have any fond arcade memories? Since oh, yeah, man. Arcade. My family's in the vending business, man. Uh, in the warehouse, we used to Ooh. have, like, everything. We got a lot. I have a Zaxxon in front of me right now and a Donkey Kong tabletop arcade cabinet right here. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to play him anymore, to be honest. Eh, it's for the keepsake value. So we're taking the uh, terrorist path, I think, if I remember right. I'd say probably my most fond memory would be just uh, playing Gauntlet on yeah. free play, of course. Oh, yeah. G I got to the last level. It was like 255, and then uh, the game just goes back to level one. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I, I think that was the most stores. disappointing arcade moment right there, too. Like, best and most disappointing. It's like, yes, I got the level 250. Oh. I went into a hole. 
That's okay. I have no I idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> I forgot about this path. Oh, I have to crap. Well, fuck you then. Just yeah, just shoot right over him. I don't remember. Just these guys throw very some well. grenades. Oh, they also have some great death death animations. This death, yeah, death. Very anime. good death animations, but ah, uh, why can't I not shoot where I want to shoot? And stabbing these guys seems to be kind of a death wish. It's one of those rare cases to where I fucking love the game, but oh my god, is it are there flaws? And they use the flaws to take quarters from me. God damn it, get the maggots off me. <laughs> oh, I got an Achievo for a million points. In co-op mode, I think. Damn, your points are way higher than mine. <laughs> I haven't been doing shit. You probably got a boss kill, though. Oh, oh, yeah, you've been rescuing a bunch of guys, too, right? Yeah, but you don't get to keep any of those points whenever you get a game over, pretty much. Oh, okay, yeah. So. So just don't die. Yeah. There's, like, a huge penalty if you're going for points there. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Like, I almost don't even want to try in this area. You know what I mean? This is one of those <laughs> I, things fucking... I really it. don't remember this pathway. I thought we were taking the right path, but I think I jumped into a hole. But I've never gone down before. No, I do remember this. This is the area with, like, all the digger thingies later, if I remember right. Yep. Here we go. Or maybe it's just the crabs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. This, this game. Oh, hey, I remember you. Welcome oh, hey. back. Yeah. Wow, I actually didn't die from that. He just pushed me off to the side. Look at that. I'm not actually dying. Yet. I'll take that. Hey, go ahead. I'm just gonna lose it in a there second. There we go. Anyways, give me that. <laughs> My turn. Giga Dribreku. Oh, God. What? Whoops. I did the thing. <laughs> uh... But hey, I'm in a good place now, I think. Uh, debatably good. <laughs> I shot oh, hey. his... Well, he just fucked off. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you know what? That looks an awful lot like something from uh, Starship Troopers. You know, I believe that, too. But the thing is, you can't tell. The, the, there's lots of movie references here. Oh, yeah, this one has an Independence Day reference, I think. Wait, wait, is this? Yeah, th this may be like 90-something. Like yeah. 97, maybe. Okay, so maybe my mid-90s. This game is basically Independence Day, the video game. <laughs> Let's be real here. Pretty much. Oh, Hypnotoad. This game takes place in a really weird time frame. Like, I can't tell whether it's riffing off movies or if it's just coincidentally picked themes that came in the movies. I think we chose the hardest path. Oh, there's really? Like, yeah, there's a, mount, there's a mountain path, and there's a path with a bunch of, uh, I don't know, fugitives, I guess. Yeah, no, I remember playing this game and not having nearly this much trouble, so this is definitely the hardest path. There's, like, one... It has, like, a bunch of... Very stereotypical, um, I don't know, I don't really want to say terrorist, but pretty much Afghan. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it is bad, though. They, like, breathe fire and blow up and stuff. Fuck, this game can be pretty topical. Yeah, it was <laughs> pretty much predicted 9-11, didn't it? Yeah. It predated it, that's for sure. <laughs> You know, we're gonna get to a boss we didn't recognize, and it's just gonna blow up two twin towers with a fucking jet plane. You're gonna be like, what? How? Well, funny you should mention that for this boss. When when was this game made? Because we're on a tower now, for some reason. <laughs> ah, see, the Chinese did 9-11. Uh, no, uh, just, I don't like any of this. I like this one better than the other attack that he does with that. Okay, you don't have to jump until it comes at the ground. Uh, ah, no. I missed it! I missed it! <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> like, this, this is one of the few games where I really love it, but I'm also like, just fuck this game. Fuck it. Okay, fuck this move that he does right here. Because they have no pattern. <laughs> no pattern. Give us your quarters! No pattern. 
None. What the fuck? Oh, I'm, I did that. <laughs> and your hitbox is pretty huge in this game. Yeah, this isn't like one of those little like bullet hell games. This isn't Toho, where you're just like a little thumb. You know, marks. in that sense, Toho's actually more merciful because there's a rhythm to it. Another thing that kind of irritates me about this game is that characters don't Come have. Come on! <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> so the trick to that one was just to keep moving. Don't don't ever stop. On easy mode, this is a lot slower. It's like actually half the speed. Not even kidding. Like, I'll admit, I'm not going, like, full in right now because I don't want to give myself a fucking migraine headache, but... <laughs> yeah, see, there's no way. You just... Ah, damn it. And if you have two players, it's twice as bad because he may target the other player. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I keep missing my jump there. Yeah, that's actually like, his easiest one to dodge. No, I take that oh, back. God damn oh, it. Jesus, why'd you explode the coins? <laughs> That was I don't know, there's probably some mythological, like, reason for that, but I don't know what it is. Goddamn Mayans. How is this even alien-related? The Chinese aliens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Alex Jones had a theory on that. <laughs> I don't think that was actually <laughs> just your typical aliens, though. Jim Trails! <laughs> You know, at least the game gives you, like, five seconds to take a drink. Mm-hmm. That's some good water. Mission four. All right, we're on to the final mission. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You know, we've taken such a different path, I don't remember any of these levels. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the I nice always thing about this. I, I always took the obvious bitch path, and I was like, oh, this game's so hard. It's way harder than I remember. That's the nice thing about this, is that there's so many paths in each level, it actually could feel like a different game each time, at least. Yeah, you kind of got, like, three or four different games here, don't you? Yeah. And all the other Metal Slugs only had, like, one path, I think. I think they tried to do it with some of the, the like, the branching path system with some of the other ones. But, ugh. As long as it wasn't Metal Slug for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, I remember playing that one. That That is basically just a platform game with health bars. Yeah, and uh, Metal Slug on the Nintendo DS. Oh, Ooh. not a good game. Ooh. It was a new one, and it was nice, and then there's one on the uh, Atomos Wave, which was a replacement for the Neo Geo. Not the worst, but not great. Now, real question. Do the characters' mouths ever close in these vehicles? No. <laughs> She's like, ah, uh, shoot, shock. Shoot me in the face. <laughs> Tarma just looks like he's having the time of his life. Marco just looks fucking confused. My girlfriend just had a miscarriage. <laughs> it's hard on the guys, too. <laughs> oh, God. This is the best we've done so far. Ironically. Yeah. Actually, I think this, this mission's kind of like organized as a reward it's like okay you've clearly given us like five bucks at this point at the very least so here, here you, you go. go have some fun stop feeling like it's a chore oh, man watermelons i'm Never. so good at this game dot look it's all getting real now now i'm gonna turn it all around bananas and, yeah this is bananas oh god i can't get out <laughs> i was even the ejector seat now i just have random goggles Ongo Bongo Donkey Congo. <laughs> Donkey Konga. Oh god, the Donkey Kong cartoon was horrifying. They had a song in every episode. Hey, yo. Look on top of the <laughs> My penis looks like aluminum foil. Here we come. That wasn't in an episode, but you can edit it to sound like that. Yeah, here he comes, banana slamming. Conga Bonga's here. That was the name of their village, was Conga Bonga. <laughs> oh, God, I I remember this one edit of the DK rap. It's like, oh. Oh, here's that oh, trademark dude. I can't, I can't reference stupid cartoons right now. No, no, you can't, because here comes the sick boss fight. 
against the trademark character from uh, the Metal Slug universe. Not, not the soldier. You'll see. <laughs> Go home to your mommy. <laughs> Go home, Tim Buckley. You human nerd. It's like, come on, boy. Yeah, that's what I expect him to sound like. Like, come on, boy. That's I'm what he gonna... says. <laughs> oh yeah, his voice changes, doesn't it? It does. He's got like five different voice actors. And whenever he dies, he always says, "See you in hell." Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Also, new grenade animation. Oh yeah, I like when you go on the ground. <laughs> Actually, run on the. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How am I supposed to dodge any of this? I got this. Like, it's, it may be hard <laughs> to tell Street in the video, Week. but your amount, your level of motion is really hard. <laughs> Just throw all your grenades, dude. There's pretty much. Red streak speeds by. Marco the Hedgehog. Okay, so he turned red, he died, blah blah blah. Time for the real final boss. Oh, we didn't save the cat. I want. God damn it. Nope. Can't, can't nope. save the cat. <sighs> Fuck, we're gonna get the bad ending. Oh, really? God damn it. Oh, man. It's really all dependent on that. Holy shit. Yeah, yep. Mass Effect 3, your choices matter. Oh, wait a second, we go back now. <laughs> Nope. Oh, couldn't blow that one up. This guy eats a lot of bullets. I mean, it, it, it really does. Just like, ugh. This thing is way harder to aim than it appears. <laughs> it is. The controls are bad because it, like, swivels, like, on an axis sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's inverted. And not vertical inversion, it's horizontal inversion. Like, the the, ty the only type of inversion I don't like. <laughs> I was thinking about counting the deaths and seeing how much money this would have costed to play, but we've died so many times, I'm just going to throw it out there, probably like 40 bucks. Uh, we're probably at the $20 mark at this point. Because this was like, what, about a quarter at the time? Yep, 25 cents. Yeah, we're probably close to the $20 mark, at least. It, it, let us know in the comments below how much money we spent. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Literally, don't waste your time. <laughs> like, I, if you do, that's nice, but I'm telling you right now, don't you feel have, obligated. You have better uses of your time. Assuming oh, okay. anybody even watches this far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did it. Oh, game over. America wins. Oh, never mind. So, so at this point, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Save me. Save Tim Buckley. Now, that's that's actually interesting because they start making clones of you or something later, don't they? Uh, you know, I don't remember. I think they do, and I think it depends on which character you're playing as, which clone you have to fight. So I think we're going to see Tarmas in this one as one of the enemies. I remember right. I'm not trying to spoil it for the people at home. But no, this is the I, best part anyways. Like, holy shit. This is the final mission, everybody knows. Yeah, and you say that, but... <laughs> this is the final mission. Okay, no, no, you no, know what? I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll just spoil it. This is the final mission, but it's longer than, like, the rest of the game combined. <laughs> It's pretty much double the length of the original game. <laughs> and look at this, we're just playing a completely different game now. Yep, welcome to uh, Galka. Yeah, I remember when I was in the arcade and I got to this point, I'm like, what? But I only have five dollars left. <laughs> It's like, but I made it all the way to the end, and then you had to go home, and it's like, oh no, I don't want to go back. Oh, you know there's somebody who, like, made it right at the apex of the end and just ran one quarter short. <laughs> and they're like, when does it end? It's like, I've got ten seconds, come on, give me a coin. I don't have any more quarters. Come on, Mom! <laughs> I'm right here! I hate you, Mom! I wish you had an abortion, I wish you and Dad got divorced! Oh, I like combos! <laughs> 
And you know that's probably the case with Phil as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dark Side Phil's the type of guy who'd say, Oh yeah, yeah, I beat Metal Slug on a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. And when he says that, he means like it was literally on top of a dollar bill. <laughs> Maybe on a Canadian dollar, I don't know. And he picked up somebody else's game there right at the end. It's like, well, yeah, well, still, technically, I did it. Technically, that means I used it. I did it right. Okay, that was me. That Donate means to my I Patreon. <laughs> so I can play more Metal Slug. Yeah. You see this? You see this? Because I put my coin in there and I was holding the joystick, that means I did it. I don't care if anybody else spent the first two <laughs> hours of the game playing it. If you told me back during the days I was playing games like this that people would have, like, Patreon and they'd be pay paid money just to play fucking games, I'd be so pissed off. I'd be like, God damn it, I wish I was born a decade later. <laughs> oh my god. Patreon, way the future. I need this gas. I really need to start a Patreon. You should. Everybody should. And just promise nothing. Like, be really fucking rude about it. Like, <laughs> I won't do shit. Give me like, your money. It's like, why the fuck would anybody donate to this? Well, that, that's just literally gonna be the description. If you give me your money, I'll spend it on stuff that make me happy. <laughs> and I won't do anything more than I'm already doing. Money can't buy you love, but it can buy me stuff, so give it to me. I promise I won't do anything more than I'm doing right now. Which is actually a pretty good deal because you don't have to worry about me not coming through on my Patreon goals. <laughs> you <laughs> don't least... have any disappointment, that's the best part. Yeah, the only honest Patreon in existence. I don't feel obligated to do anything because of your donations. Oh, shit's getting really real now, because we're throwing out three of these guys at once. So, yeah. Funny, $50,000, and I won't, still won't do anything. <laughs> just not, not even like a really high fucking lofty goal. Just put it out there. Dude, we if made I get the up to a million dollars, I'll do nothing. You'd be like that guy that's on YouTube that drinks water every day, and he uploads a video of him drinking a bottle of water every day. Oh, man, there's some dumb trends going on right now. Like, uh, I'm looking at some of the comments in Danger Dolan videos, and I think this died down. I think people, like, got tired of it really quick, but everybody started making channels of I push stuff, and it's just people, like, knocking over a broom, knocking over other shit, kind of like a vine. I think they picked it up off vine. It's like a it's really bad how-to basic sort of thing. Yeah, like, an even lazier how-to basic. Like, I want to do how-to basic, but I don't want to have to clean up anything. I don't want to make my mom angry. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually have a house, so, you know, that's that's why. Rocket has some nice animations on it. Holy uh, shit, how long was that level? Oh, we're still going! <laughs> yeah, no, 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 this doesn't stop now. I think if I remember right, the safest part is kind of in the middle for this area. I just quit paying attention, because at least the level's not going to stop. Yeah. Oh, the action doesn't stop in this game. Now it literally is Galaga, though. I'm fine with that. This is actually way easier. Oh yeah. Well, I haven't seen anything except yet. that vertical movement is like hard. In this everything like, moves fast. That's how fast I move vertically. How about that scrolling background? You know what? It's repetitive art, but it's good repetitive art, so it works. You know, it's done right. Yeah, like that. That's how. Oh god, these things shoot instantly. Yeah. Rocket launcher. Oh man, I was hoping we get to hear that today. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Oh, oh god, my voice is dying. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket launcher. Laser gun. Heavy machine gun. Iron lizard. I'd play this game just for the announcer, honestly. I just like for him to narrate my life, just be like, cup of water. Oh, I get so goddamn sick of that. Like, <laughs> I like Metal Slug 3, but. It's one of those games that I play once every couple of, like, ten years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every couple of decades, it's the ceremony. It oh, makes it a lot more enjoyable. Like, I couldn't imagine mastering this game. I would hate it so much. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be able to commentate over it, that's for sure. Like, if I, if I was going to do a speed run of it, I would just be stone-faced, not saying a goddamn word the whole way through. <laughs> It's like, nope, move left here, move right here. Like, not even not even monitoring the enemy patterns, just memorizing where I need to put the character and win. 
Right, you're going to want to make sure you have a heavy machine gun for this. If you don't have it, you're fucked. It's going to take forever. You're going to not be able to shave off that extra 10 seconds of time to kill this boss. Yay. Ooh. You know what? I'll give this game some credit over Super Contra. And Super Contra, even if you uh, put in quarters to continue after a certain point, it just game over. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, you, know, you go if you go through three continues, it's like nope, you can't continue anymore. Even if you put money into the machine, nope, you're not allowed to play anymore. Oh god damn it, that was me. Um, one thing I don't like is that the characters kind of look the same from the back, unless you're playing as like Marco and Tarma. Yeah, again. there's a, there's a lot of uh, visual clutter in this, but it's forgivable because it would just steal your money anyway. So ah, there's <laughs> okay, damn it. Yeah, now we're starting to suck. Well, there's so much variety in where your character's at and what they can do. It's not. Uh, it's hard to adjust. Yeah, those things shoot instantly. And by the time the fucking thing registers in your head, it's like, oh, yeah, it's those guys. Zap. You're fucking dead. And this is how babies are made. Oh, hey, look, Daleks. Yeah, we're still on the last level. <laughs> yeah, final mission. I just want everybody to keep that in mind. It literally said final mission at the start of this. These have an no. interesting attack pattern because you have to jump through the rings and they like fire them in different ways. You got a Superman 64 that shit. I just I Lame think that's cool. Shot. And look, they got fire animations like in Yeah, fire. it's awesome. It's great. Why does this game have to be so bullshit? Yeah, I'll give the other ones credit. The ones that were designed for console, they're a little bit less bullshit. Yeah, but. They're not as good. They, they just don't have the art. They don't have the design. They don't have the style to it, like the charm. Yeah. I don't know. I can't say they don't have the art because there's some bosses that are pretty faithful to the art style, but some of this stuff's not so much. When you get to these enemies, I mean, like, they're cool, but they are really hard to dodge some of those rings. Yeah, it's tough to tell when you need to get through there. And, of course, since it's 2D, there's no depth, so, you know, you just got to know. So usually the safest place is to be as far away from these guys as possible. But then they start surrounding you, which makes this a pain in the ass. Oh, I just jumped into there. I'm an idiot. At least you can knife some of the projectiles, so that's something. Yeah. I remember growing up, the melee was the most confusing thing to me, because I'm like, um, so, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do we get past the melee? How do we use that? It's like, oh, you have to be next to him and it just automatically uses it. Which is nice. If there was a dedicated melee button, I would never use it. Mmm, German torture point. And look at that animation. That was really good. Yeah. It's very stylish. He's a, presenting. Uh, yeah. A dignified pose. Ha 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 We're less players. Ha 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 Let's play. <laughs> Butts. Butts and nuts. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know what? That was a little bit too clever. That actually rhymed. <laughs> Show them the booty. And now they're on our side. Yeah. Which I don't think has happened in any of the other Metal Slug games, so... And here's some Mega Man enemies, why not? Yeah. Oh, I hated these things. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, for an arcade game, that's pretty clever, though. They actually give you AI help. In the most strange way. Yeah, this is one of the few pieces of hardware that could really handle it. And they actually do damage. Yeah. Like, they're not just, like, bullshit damage or anything like that. They're not useless, is the point. They have a purpose. I think they felt confident to give these guys to you, because, again, if you were at this point in the game and it was your first time playing, you're you're $10 or $20 in the hole right now. That's just how that is. Yeah, and we just picked up a satellite. And here's a satellite weapon that, you know, just, why not? Satellite! I can't remember what he says for that one. Yeah, I think at this point they're just throwing in everything that they hadn't already thrown into the game. It's like, any other assets we have dropped? Yeah, the satellite weapon, we never use that. Oh yeah, throw that in there. We, we have the monkey, we could use him again. No, we don't need to use it. Oh, by the and way. Once you, just... once you blow up that fucking six-legged thing, it falls down and kills you, so... Six-legged? Oh, uh, whatever. Oh. I'm losing... I can't... How can you count in this game? How can you have... Marco teaches typing. <laughs> 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 you know, a Metal Slug ed educational game would be pretty great. It'd be like advanced calculus and shit. Yeah. Just jump it. Just jump. Just run and jump. They can't hurt you I if you're in air. Uh, 
That's okay, I got over. <laughs> that works. I'm not upset. Still in well, the final mission, guys. <laughs> no, this is final boss. Yeah, this is final boss. Here we go. Let's kill it. No, I had to get a sip of water. I don't care if I die. <laughs> <laughs> we just got fried. Yeah, this is about the point that if you're playing the game in the arcade, you really have to take a piss. But it's like, no. <laughs> it's like, hold <laughs> this for me. God damn this boss. I remember this one. It, it's just... Yeah. Don't try to hit it. Just, no, 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 no. Okay, we're <laughs> playing two-player. It makes it even worse. Oh, yeah. No, this is great. Okay, I'll just stand right next to you. This It's the only <laughs> possible way we can do this if we, if we stick together. I mean, not really, but within a reasonable time frame. It wouldn't be so bad if you... See, it has like a weird hitbox, but you can still hit the ones that are stuck in the ground. Even when they're just barely poking out. I have no idea what we were supposed to do there on that one. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, no, we're, to, just, we're just taking a life from you there. You have to coordinate it. But in your first time playing this, you would never be able to figure that out. Oh, no, no. no. It, it, th this would be like a buck fifty right okay, there. Okay, here we go. This, this is where shit starts getting really real. Final mission. Yeah, here we go. Green Tarmas. Die, Buckley, die! <laughs> hey, this is my favorite part of the game already. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty awesome. Ah, get the metal slug. There we go. Yeah, I can't believe we forgot the cat. God damn it. Uh, and oh yeah, the fat mode. We would have seen the fat mode more if we whoa, did some yeah. of the other levels. but Yeah, if we took the upper path in the... Um, Okay, back to the tank. That one, um, that one level. Fuck that this! With Fuck the fucking... that! You remember that path that we took in the tunnels with the maggots? Yeah. Yeah. If we took the upper path on that one, we would have gotten to see the fat mode a lot more. Yeah, we would have gone to race, racist Middle East land. That would have been fun. Or we would have gone to the mountains, which has like a shit ton of like food. <laughs> oh, you got the iron lizard. Nope, not anymore. I only had the iron. I lizard. didn't judge the jump right. Come on, how are you supposed to get Damn to it. three of those? No! Well, there's no time to waste, Hobbit. Oh, come on, what the fuck with that? <laughs> that one can do both attacks? Why? <laughs> why not? Because 25 cents, that's why. Give me your money, said Tim Buckley. Oh, drop shot. Yeah, it's basically Tim Buckley the game, if you think about <laughs> it financially. Oh, hey, look, here he is. I don't know a, where I'm at. Where? Oh, there I am. <laughs> and there's Lucas. He's just joining in on the fun. He's gone crazy, as you can see. <laughs> no, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas has bigger tits. Come on. <laughs> I think Lucas actually has uh, Lila on this day. No, we we beat Lila earlier. That was a big thing shooting those huge balls at us. <laughs> We're inside Lila's womb right now. Oh, we're in utero. <laughs> this, is, this is the Binding of Isaac. I didn't realize it. Yeah, we're, we're causing the miscarriage right now. <laughs> the Binding of Buckley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I need to mod that game to be like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Play is Zeke going into Lila's womb. <laughs> Ethan... Oh, God. <laughs> Ethan's like, come on, we have to kill my unborn son. <laughs> Abortion's hard on the man, too. <laughs> oh, God. And then they come back as zombies with the blood thing. Zombie clones. <laughs> God damn, this game has it all. This game really does, though, to be Yeti, fair. Yetis, zombies, zombie clones, aliens. Several types of aliens, mind you. Oh, you might want to duck. No, I refuse. <laughs> What's the point? You gotta do the duck walk. I really wish Nintendo would embrace CDI Zelda. I like, actually like CDI back. Zelda in the worst way possible. <laughs> you know what? It's endearing. Not like Tim Buckley. Like I almost for a minute felt like, oh, you know, I kind I'm kind of miscontrolled at the lead. You know, Buckley, Buckley's so hateable, like a Donald, like a Daffy Duck, Donald Duck kind of way. But then I'm like, no, wait a second. I thought you were gonna say a Daffy Donald Trump kind of way. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of... Nah, Donald Trump's more likable. At least when Donald Trump talks shit, 
he has some kind of like consistency about him. It's more like I just never know what he's going to say next. I like that he doesn't apologize toward Tim Buckley. He's like, no, I'm a good guy. Everybody should like me. No, oh, miscarriages are funny, guys. Where Donald Trump's like, yeah, I, everybody makes fun of me. That's fine. I'll fuck you, too. <laughs> I have money. Who cares? Yeah. Fuck you, Where Tim Buckley you. has money, he's like, no, but I also need to be loved by everyone. Oh, they man, even, even stab you. That's awesome. Yeah, and the doors even have animations. I didn't notice that until now, but like whenever like the locks are coming undone after you blow them up. God, yeah. we played like shit. <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> this isn't fair. Not even remotely fucking fair, but yeah. We're not experts here. Oh, we're not. Used to be my jam being the operative words. Now, this is a game if you're going to be good at Metal Slug, you have to be practiced. You can't just have good reflexes and do well in this game because it's shit like that to where if you don't know what your hitbox is you're not doing all right you're, you're, you're just you're in trouble if you don't know what's going on you're in trouble yeah see watch the locks on there even have animations that is awesome i mean they put all this on a fucking neo geo cartridge and this is technology from like the early 90s Again, this game was probably released late, late 90s, probably like 97, like you said. I just, I could have sworn this was like 94. But I, mean, I remember the I Neo think, Geo itself. But. I think Metal Slug X had an Independence Day reference, and that was 97. So I can't tell there you. It is. <laughs> if that was even an Independence Day reference, they may have stolen that from Metal Slug, for all I know. Oh, hey, okay. Lila. <laughs> hey there, Lila. Oh, God. Okay, so I don't really remember the shtick for this boss. All I, I don't know which one I am. <laughs> I'm the one on the right. So, you have to jump away from the brain when it shoots out those stupid waves while dodging his vomit. <laughs> Give me your corners! <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you for playing! <laughs> You can jump on the tanks, though. Yeah, there's no way you would have known this, though. That, that's Because it has a deceptive hitbox. You still go through the ring. Whenever you're dodging it, I mean. Yeah, if you get to... I mean, just... If you beat this boss without getting killed, I'm impressed. Because, again, how are you supposed to know when that's going to pop off? You just kind of... Oh, I've never done that. The thing is, all my credits that I had, they went to this fight, pretty much. When I actually did beat this in solo play, Urgh. it's not great. Yeah, I couldn't oh. do commentary on this game and play it, because just to keep track of the patterns and shit, oh. like, you can't you lose your rhythm. You can't lose your rhythm hey, at all. look, there's Tarma. Yeah, shoot your stupid little pea shooter. You know what? Any help's appreciated at this point. We're just shooting... Well, we're stabbing him, actually. We have... Just shooting this thing in the brain. Though. No, I jumped too early. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, no, I finally figured out what the hitbox is on that thing now. On the brain, I mean. Ah, damn it. I'm still trying. I've been trying this whole time. Like, there's a couple you... times where I was like, fuck it. You I'm see just going to was... damage boost, but I'm not. I'm trying not to die. Where I'm standing right now, if you, like, jump, like, right when he shoots the ring, you're fine. But if it's, it's not the ring that I'm having trouble with. It's, it's the, the bubbles. Bombs. Yeah. Those stupid Because you oh. gotta predict where those are gonna go while you keep an eye on the brain and time your jump just right. So there's like two, three timers that you're keeping an eye on, and you just got your finger on the ready for that jump, and you don't want to stop shooting because if you stop shooting, then this takes longer. <laughs> so it's just thing, one more wave that you have to dodge. I'm pretty sure this thing has the most health in the game. Oh, yeah, by this far. I've been, I've been just feeding grenades into it. Oh, there we go. Which, by the way, sorry to spoil it for you people, but this was the final boss. So that was Blind the last mission. Water. <laughs> oh my god. Mission complete. And you know what? This game has perfect English. That's it another does. notable thing about it. Mission it really does. I mean, the grammar's not good, but you know. Oh, mode 7. Not even mode 7. That's like, <laughs> that's the laziest 3D cube I've ever seen. <laughs> 
It's one thing the 3D or not. I was about to call it the 3DO. <laughs> Nobody knows what the fuck a 3DO is. Oh, I do, unfortunately. Why did hey. you your gun? What the fuck? Yeah, those cost it's money. And now one of those lobster people's gonna grab it and just start shooting upwards. Metal Slug 4. <laughs> oh really good art, really good art. Really great art. Fantastic job on these sprites. Like, okay, they recycled that background from that first or that second level we did, but they drew a gun and look at the bubbles coming out of it. They drew that. They didn't, they they didn't have to. This. They could have just had like the end and it could have been done. Yeah, enemy sequence. This is who you have to thank for all the enemy placement in the game. <laughs> Arita Narusawa. Susu. You know, I could make fun of these people's... In and see, even they throw in the final boss back there, too. Just that slowly. is awesome. And it's slowly. not even the same... That's like a completely different drawing. Yeah, he's like all mutilated and stuff. Even the gallery for this game, like, I've looked through some of it, I haven't completed it, but, I mean, like, I've looked through it, and it looks phenomenal. Yeah, this was back when... This was back when game artists were really good, I guess is the best way to put it. Pretty much. They did a great job on this, except for the fact that they made it a coin muncher. Yeah, they didn't... I don't think they had any choice. This had to be really expensive to produce, not to mention this had to have been on a really big card, like a... Like, at least a 512 meg card. To be fair, the actual Neo Geo cartridges were pretty fucking big. Oh yeah, it was just it was just an arcade board inside of a plastic box. Hey guys, you want to be able to... You want, you want to play some SNES on my Neo Geo? I'm gonna just pop that in there. I like how most game designers have names in their credits like... Internet handles, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. a weird time. Back then, people would like... <laughs> try to hire out people from other, oh the future is now no it's not it's owned by a really crazy ass Chinese company now making pachinko games so <laughs> sorry uh the king of futures 14 <laughs> fucking <laughs> fish at the end that's such oh. an abrupt ending jeez I'm like 18,796 how about you Oh jeez, I um, I don't even know. Let's see, what does the leaderboard say? Well, I beat my high score of last time, I think. Yeah, there you are. Um, hey, I'm ahead of you somehow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the I, fuck? You must have the boss know. kill. Oh yeah, that's probably. Yeah, I bet the boss kill's like worth you know a million. Yeah. And Remy ah, stars damn. way down there. He didn't play enough. Wow. Well, let's take a look. I'll take a look at the gallery. So See what are your you final got. thoughts on this game? It's a great game, but uh, if I had to say anything, there's one illustration, and you'll know it when you see it for sure. The guy's ripping his chest open. I don't know if you have that one unlocked. I don't know, but the art is just fucking phenomenal. It's really beautiful, and it seems like a lot of this didn't even make it into the game, honestly. Like, even on the alternate paths. There's like a vampire version that's breathing fire, so I guess they changed it from vampire to zombie puke and blood, which makes sense. I don't know, I kind of want to be the vampire gargoyle thing. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know how that would work, though. Yeah, there's the... Um, <laughs> you know... Yeah, he's a Nazi. They're clearly Nazis. Evidently, they had black unit. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, titties. Yeah. Looks like a suicide bomber of some sort, but no, there's like little spider legs, me mechanical spider legs shooting out of his robo intestines. Yeah, I'm confused. It's just ready to Photoshop a giant Subway sandwich in his mouth. What yeah, burger. this was like ridiculously ahead of its time. Some great artists, some great games, but, uh, fucking bullshit games, too. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's just how the arcade industry was, man. It was really cutthroat. My, my family was in the vending industry, and 
Well, for one thing, the taxation was pretty high. So while you are pumping a lot of money into this game, the fees to have your vending license and the replacement parts and everything else, the people who supplied the machines to the arcades didn't make much money. And the people selling the arcades made a pretty good amount of money. But even then, like these were, I, I couldn't even go into it all. Needless to say, the overhead was pretty high. So while it looks, while you think, oh yeah, I, I pumped hundreds of thousands of dollars in, well not hundreds of thousands, but I pumped hundreds of dollars in arcades. You split it between the vendor, the you know place that has the arcade, and then cost to keep it maintained, replace sticky buttons, and all that other shit. It, it was a huge wash. That's why uh, my family isn't in that business anymore. That's well, then the arcade arcades industry are, died. Yeah. And it's really sad, because I love the arcade industry. Like, like I said, I remember there's a little place called Rocky's Replay down in Orlando. It closed up about early 2000, right after I moved from there. But it was a wonderful little arcade. And I miss those days, but god damn, some of those games were super coin munchers. Oh, yeah, and it started to get really bad. Like, I remember I, I used to really like, you know, um, light gun games. So, Time Crisis? Time oh, Crisis, man. Oh, buck, yeah. Fucking buck 25 to play. But the thing is, I had the PS2 version, so I practiced Time Crisis 3 so much that I could actually beat the arcade on a single credit. See, that's good. Oh, man, I love some Time Crisis. If we had one of those games on here, I'd just fucking... <clears throat> but those were fair. Those were actually fair games, and that was because most people couldn't use a light gun very well, I think. Oh, and House of the Dead, those were fun, too. Yeah, again, um... Games with multiple paths, which is uh, weird that you saw that in arcade games. But these days, it's like nope, we can't afford to do that. Nope, you got you, you don't get any options like that. Your choices don't matter, but your money no, does. They, so they give us that. A, if they developed a second path, it would be DLC. If they developed these games these days, it'd be like put in twenty five cents to take path B. Pretty much, you're gonna have to give us twenty military credits. Though, of course, Gauntlet was the originator for that. It's like you could just put in quarters to get health. That was so goddamn brilliant. <laughs> so I had a lot of fond memories playing that in the warehouse. Yeah, I I never really got too big into the uh, original Gauntlet. I loved Gauntlet Legacy, though. Oh, yeah. Well, the uh, thing about the original Gauntlet that got me into it is that I had one of the machines here, and what I would do is I'd leave the machine on and pump in, like, 100 quarters into it. Oh, uh, so that I, I could sleep with the machine on, and it usually yeah. wake me up after about four hours and go dun 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 dun. I'd be like, oh shit, uh. click 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 click, <laughs> and I go back to sleep. And I did that for like a day and a half, and I uh, got to level two hundred and fifty five, and it just cycled back to level one after I beat it. I'm like, there's no dragon. That's really disappointing. I, I was pissed, but you know, at least I didn't spend money on it. I can't imagine. There's there's got to be somebody out there that literally spent the money to get to level 255. Like, I'm pretty sure it's 255. It may have been like uh, 250 or uh, 100. I, I'm really sure it was 255, though. I, I was like eight years old at the time, so I can't really remember that much. It is probably a pretty big thing, though. Huh. Yeah, Gauntlet Legacy was good, too. I had a couple of friends that I'd basically be like, give me a quarter, and I'll get you guy to level 20. <laughs> Knew just where to grind on that. Of course, that was the arcade version. The home See, version was a lot less... Uh, it was a lot more fair, and it was even better because they added in more content to it, which I thought was really awesome. Yeah, that was really awesome. And Four yeah, new worlds, one extra boss fight at the end, and that that's great. Yeah, I think the game that I wish got ported the most that never got ported and probably will never get ported is um, Carnival. Oh, I remember that. That's the shooter one at the carnival. And they yeah, had like, this fucking evil Santa and shit. That was it great. It was a little bit of a quarter muncher, but if you knew what you were doing, it wasn't nearly as bad as Metal Slug 3. <laughs> oh, definitely not. It was a fun game, too. It had a very nice uh, style to it. You know, there's very few light gun games that I didn't like, but uh, just one off the top of my head, Revolution X. That was shit. Oh, uh, my God. Uh, that was Aerosmith's game, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, Aerosmith <laughs> the game. You had a gun that fired CDs, <laughs> and it was all faux 3D, kind of like the Jurassic Park game, but with it was even FMV, worse graphics. It was FMV, basically. No, it wasn't even FMV, man. It was like, 
Cut it's like JPEGs. It, it really was. It was just JPEGs, like JPEGs on a horizontal plane, kind of like what Tim Buckley does to open and close doors. That's pretty much what the levels were. And then you had like little Aerosmith JPEGs jumping around. It was, that was awful. Yeah, after you beat the game, you get to play as uh, fucking Kurt Cobain and shoot up all the uh, evil record companies. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you, forgot, you forgot what Kurt Cobain did. Although I'm sure there no, would have no, been no, a Nirvana. That's part, the, that's part of the good ending. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, man. Have a Beatles game. Where, <laughs> never mind. You know where that joke's going. I don't have to go any further on that. <laughs> the Beatles shooter. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh man! Well, that was Metal Slug Three. Indeed, great game. Yeah, probably won't play it again for another year and a half. But hey, it was on sale. I got it for three dollars. So hey, not not too bad. That that's way less that than was, I would have spent was... on it in the fucking arcade. So you know, <laughs> when you think about it that way, pretty fucking good deal. Yeah, that was a good deal then. Okay, I'm done.